photo p mock-up tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i am going to be telling you how you can edit or customize your mock-ups in photo p so having said that let's just jump into the video so in this video we're going to go ahead and come over here onto photo p and i'm also going to come over here onto this website mockups slash design.com we're going to download some mockups you can download some free mockups over here from this website so here you can see we have a bunch of different options. We can just simply come over here on mockups and we can find some options over here. So these are free scene creators, free simple mockups and free premium mockups. So these are like the free premium mockups right here. We can go with this one if you want or this one or this card one. It totally depends on you. If we go to the second page, let's go ahead and find some billboard type of mockup, you know, because why not? So this one also looks good. This is like a whole truck. And yeah, so we're going to go ahead and find something that would look good and you'll also see that some of them are you know like this layered one you can see the design you know warps with the design of the paper you don't have to worry about that it'll automatically you know adjust to the mock-up as well so you won't have to worry about it so like this one like this whole billboard we could go with that one or we could go with this poster one as well it totally depends on you but i'm trying to find something that would also look really good over here as well and also, I want to go ahead and create a mock-up design as well. So we'll go ahead and do that as well. Like this one. This one looks pretty cool. So we're going to go with this one. Uh, you can see it's a little bit to the left and to the right. So it'll automatically, you know, create one for it. So let's go ahead and download it by clicking on the download button. And it should start in a few seconds. There we go. Now, while that mock-up is downloading, we're going to go over to Canva and create our design. And then we're going to go ahead and edit that design in Photo P. So let's go ahead and come over here and let's say, let's go ahead and search for poster designs, right? Since that's the mock-up that we just downloaded, we're going to click on posters. There we go. We're going to click on here. So we have a few already, so we could go with this one as well. Or we could just simply download the ones that we already have. Like this one looks pretty simple, looks pretty cool, but you know, totally depends on you. Yeah, let's go with this one. Let's go ahead and download or customize this one. We're going to go ahead and click on customize this one. And then we're going to go ahead and download this design. We're going to click on share and then click on download. We're going to select PNG. I think the size of it is okay. Uh, we can adjust it later within Photo P. We're going to go ahead and download the design as well. There we go. We are going to go ahead and paste it over there. All right. So we have created and downloaded the design. Let's go ahead and extract the mockup files over here. And here we go. So these are the mockup files right here. You can see uh, these are like the images preview of them. And these are the actual mockups. So mockup number three is the one that we would like to edit or even mockup number one because, you know, they're angled. So it'll be nice to see how, you know, Photo P adjusts the images. So let's go ahead and go back to Photo P. And here what we're going to do is we're going to click on new project and we are going to go ahead and select a poster or we can go with our own one it totally depends on you let's go with a photo or click on add since this is an ad we're going to go ahead and go with a let me actually see what is the actual size of this since this is a poster uh this is a 1586 by 2245 let's go with something like that right new project 1586 by i think that would look good yeah this is okay yep 72 well yeah, it's fine it should be a little bit more but it is what it is We'll go ahead and click on create. All right. So we now have a design. Now let's go ahead and click on file and click on import as. Or we can even just directly open the file as well. Like for example, click on file, click on open, and then go to the download folder and select the folder. And since it was mock-up number three, or actually, yeah, mock-up number three, this is the third one. The third one, double click and open it up over here. So when you first open up the mock-up, it's going to tell you to delete this layer like this one over here. It says right here. So we're going to go ahead and delete that layer. There we go. So this is the whole design. This is the whole mock-up. And if we go ahead and see, come over here onto the right-hand side, you'll see the design. Double click on it. Actually, it'll open up the folder right here. You can see in another tab, this is the design. And here you can go ahead and place your design right here and delete this one, right? So for example, uh, open up the design section. Let me go back. Here we have the design. This is the one that we want. We'll go ahead and import it right here. Paste it right here. And you can see this is how it looks like. We can go ahead and fill it out and delete the older design. And actually go ahead and... All right. So once it's resized like this one, uh, we should be good to go. I'm just simply going to put it right there. There we go. So there we go. It's resized. I just double clicked it and it automatically detected it. It's one of the cool things about 
you know photo it automatically does these kinds of things so there you go it's now fully you know up to size now if we go back it should look over here wait uh it didn't sorry it opened up actually in another tab that's not what it was supposed to do yeah so uh there's also this option right here at the top you can see transform control so you just simply click on it and then you can just increase the entire height and width of the entire image you can see it's not quite there yet so what we can do is actually create a new layer over here there should be a button let me actually close this one there we go the folder no we don't need the folder delete that there we go create a new layer by clicking on this button place the layer down below then select the bucket tool or well the color tool actually there should be this one right here called the eyedropper just simply go ahead and select the eyedropping color there we go and then select the layer and then just simply go ahead and you know and there we go uh we just filled it out and there we go all right so now uh i think this should be good to go but let me just go ahead and select this layer move it down a little bit actually select the move tool sorry i forgot and just put it where is it it should be right here it's a little bit tricky since it's all the way edge to edge so maybe i'll just you know why not make it a little bit bigger all the way through to and through like there we go almost there we go all right so now what we're going to do next is we're going to click on file and click on save smart object right there you go smart object updated now if we go back you can see the entire design the entire mock-up is actually tilted exactly the same it has the shadow effect and everything so this is how you can edit it and also if you have like a mock-up design for a t-shirt and it has like you know those little creases smart object will also add those creases onto that mock-up as well it'll look pretty good so there you go this is how you do it this is how you edit mock-ups in photo p so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to help you out in any way i can as soon as possible and also be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video. Your support to the channel means a lot, and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily, so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day, so don't worry about it. So having said that, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next video, and until next time, take care and goodbye.